Let's move on to example B. And this one is definitely a little bit trickier. All right, so part B says 40 over Z plus one is equal to 15 over six. So this does have something that looks kind of funny right here, this Z over one, but don't let that trip you up too much and I'll, I'll show you how to navigate that. So if we were to do our first step, we would take 40, our numerator and six, our denominator over here and multiply those two together. So when I do 40 times six, I get 240. So again, to do that, I did 40 times six. And now the tricky part is when we get to the step that has z plus one times 15. But all this means is that we're taking that product z plus one and we are multiplying it times that numerator that was 15. So this is a cherry bomb where we would distribute the 15 to both of those terms. So when we distribute, oops, and I'm going to put that these are equal to each other. They're kind of far apart. So when I distribute, I'm going to get that 15 times z is just 15z. And then 15 times a positive 1 is just positive 15. And again, that's equal to 240. So now we still have an equation because we have that variable z right here. And we also have an equal sign. We're just going to have an extra step when we solve this one. So over on the left, we've got 15z plus 15 is equal to 240. So when we're isolating that variable z, instead of just jumping right to the the 15 that's being multiplied by it, we've got this extra plus 15 off to the side. So we need to just get rid of this first. And if we want to take it to the other side of the equation, we need to do the inverse operation. So right now it's a plus 15 or a positive 15. So to move it to the other side of the equation, we need to do the inverse or the opposite, which is to subtract 15 or a negative 15. Either way you say it is correct. So I'm going to bring down my 15z. And we're going to simplify 240 minus 15, which gives us 225. And we aren't quite done yet. I'm going to extend my wall. Because z is still being multiplied by 15. So un to undo times 15, we would do the inverse, which is to divide by a positive 15. And if we do that on one side, we have to do that on both sides. Which leaves us with z is equal to 225 divided by 15, which is 15. 15 times 15 is 225. So to interpret this, this one's kind of different. That means we would take this 15 back up and put it in here for z. So technically 15 plus one, that's 16. So it's saying 40 over 16 is equal to 15 over six. And at this time, I would like you to go on and to try c and d. And I made sure not to give you any that were too tricky. So again, just try your best. If you don't get them, that's okay, as long as you're attempting to do them, uh, messing with those numbers, trying to make sense of it, and giving it your best shot.